the art project and it's a lesson inspired by Good morning. It is February the 16th, about 6 o'clock in the morning. And about a week ago, uh, one of my viewers uh, named Christy Jones suggested I do a painting or study of a human heart. So yesterday, with some time on my hands, um, I like to come out to my studio early before the kids wake up and have my coffee and quiet time and start painting and drawing I looked up a, a picture of a heart and I started drawing it uh, it was pretty fun uh, it was pretty interesting it was pretty challenging as well uh, it was very um, organic and so lining things up and getting things proportionate was a little bit um, more difficult I tried to use uh, sort of the shape building method that I had uh, that I've made some videos about recently um, but and, and I did I used a um, big oval to kind of start the whole thing out but eventually uh, I kind of just started, started eyeballing stuff because I was using my uh, laptop as a reference and you know, it wasn't quite the same as looking at the piece of paper next to me and as a reference and there was no paper next to me so um, also uh, to mention here is uh, I'm colorblind and so uh, I looked at the uh, picture of the heart particularly I'm red and green colorblind and I looked at the picture of the heart that I was using as a reference and it was a nice dark red and so I went with the darkest red that I have of FW ink mixed it up with a couple of other colors but um, it was still too brown like it was way too brown so I'm painting over it here and I didn't want to completely obliterate uh, the original color because I find that layers and layers and layers of colors are uh, kind of helpful you know they change each other and they they make an impression on the final image so uh, I didn't completely obliterate it although it did pretty close <coughs> And uh, then I got some, um, so the first red that I used was um, earth red, which I think might be a little bit like brick red. And then I decided that uh, scarlet was a better way to go. So I used some scarlet. <clears throat> now the entire time that I did this, I also uh, mixed it with other colors. So it wasn't just pure scarlet or it wasn't just pure earth red. I either mix some black with it or a little bit of yellow or a little bit of another color. Um, and then eventually, you'll see later on in the video, I also used, actually went over, I think maybe even painted the whole thing over again with some um, processed magenta. And I kind of settled on that as the color that um, was closest. Um, but I don't know. I'm red, green, colorblind. So I didn't want to, um, well, I, I would love to match the colors and everything, but I knew that was, wasn't really necessarily going to happen. So I just went with the red. Um, I think it turned out all right in the end. Uh, a lot of work still to be done. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining on my tin roof. Uh, sort of a beautiful sound. Not ideal for doing the audio of a video, though. Um, I'm here with my dog in my studio. Emmy, she's chewing on a block of wood she found, and I'm drinking coffee, drinking it black, I started drinking my coffee black about two weeks ago, and uh, it's a really good change, it is uh, good not to have to rely on cream, because sometimes you just don't have cream, you know, and uh, yeah, so it's uh, from Papua New Guinea, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it and it's delicious um, I've got some Honduran coffee I'm gonna try out um, pretty soon 
Anyway, it's kind of cool not to be relying on cream, like I said before. I uh, have not had sugar in my coffee in years, uh, except maybe sometimes when I go to Starbucks or Barnes Noble and get some specialty coffee, maybe. Um, or Monster Energy Drink coffee, the um, like Loca Mocha or the Mean Bean. Oh, those are those are really good, and of course they're they've got sugar in them. But um, usually when I brew my own coffee in my French press. I don't add any sugar or cream to it. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. Um, got the dog about four weeks ago. She's adorable. And she uh, can now sit and shake and stand on her hind legs uh, on command. Uh, I've been teaching her that. I've also been trying to teach her to do it uh, using sign language. So like I can just use hand signals to get her to... Uh, stand and I try and use the hand signals that are the same in sign language so I'm like using the command sit and ASL to teach her how to sit or to to command her to sit and I'm using the ASL sign for stand to get her to stand and uh, she's pretty smart she's about six or seven months old and uh, seems to be house broken she hadn't peed in the house in a while and kennel kennel train she gets in the kennel every night and sleeps um, she's a little feisty sometimes she starts trying to bite everybody but um, not not hard just kind of playful she's a playful pup anyway um, I really like the way the white highlights uh, work on the uh, different parts Sometimes I wish there was more white highlights on the on the heart. I really should have done this for Valentine's Day, but here it is, what, two days after Valentine's Day? And, uh, oh well. I think the, the final choice of colors worked out pretty well. Um, it's not 100% accurate, but it's, um, it's a little bit better. If I make any changes to it, um, which I may, uh, I'll probably take follow-up pictures and post those on Instagram so if you are um, following me on Instagram you can see those also uh, I do like the way it turned out pretty well so I might actually uh, finish it up and take a picture of it and post it on my red bubble account and so you can actually buy a print or a t-shirt or coasters or get it on a coffee mug whatever you want to want to do um, so look for my red bubble if you haven't already. Um, I'll try and post a link in the description down below. Check that out. And I re also really like the way some of these uh, these hatching marks. I really love this pen and ink uh, style cross hatching. So there it is. That's the final deal right there. Unless I do more to right. it, which I uh, said. Please I'll look post in the description down below. Like, subscribe, for a link comment. To Miss T Fox's resources at Teacher Pay Teachers. Go make some art. Uh, this was brought Maybe to you by the Art, art Project. Art.